Hey, back again to new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. CR Dried version 10.2 year, February 5th, 2024 is the security patch. Vendor security patch is June 1, 2023 and base band version. Kernel user is 4.14.336. Puff kernel has been used. Build date is February 9th. Very much latest update this is and I have been using this from uh, last couple of hours now already I, it was out around afternoon and from then i'm using it continuously now let me enable this echo battery and the end of the video you can check out how much it has showing the stats you can check out here go to all apps and select here don't optimize and done yeah now moving into typical home screen here you get widgets and into the clock yeah this is one thing you need to update actually these widgets because it is very simple as you can see i don't want suggestions and go to home settings here again icons home screen app drawer again you get some options here themed icons you can enable from here recents again you get something screenshot lens clear all options if you want here as you can see if you want to for example i will open play store here yeah I can't go to recent apps I don't know okay let's press and hold here home settings again recents memory info okay but I unable to go to recent here that's the big bug in this particular ROM go to settings and go to gestures system into gestures and navigation mode gesture navigation okay, let's reduce pill length and even pill radius still i cannot go back here this is the big thing you guys can see just we need to disable that yeah that's the bug three button navigation now i can go into homes if you can as you can see now you can see the memory in and all that's the option what i was checking for and this is how the home screen settings and wallpaper sun style again this is the android 14 style guys lock screen and all as you can see just the uh, pill bar gesture is not working here and the lock screen customization those are there home screen you also get themed icons other options change wallpapers you get some pre-installed wallpapers here google assistant will wake up here and dialer is this one say so i different dialer we get and direct video call feature is there here you can directly make it out and even you can record the call but it will not announce the other person that you are recording call that's a good thing camera here basic is given as you can see it's very basic you can utilize them yeah but if you want to use any advanced gcam you can go with lmc agc even arrow build gcam is available for poco x3 slash nfc here you can go any of the uh, app here this results for example not showing hence health okay we'll close that and open again let's see yeah anyhow that's how the uh, results will check some results here this is the charging rapidly which is very much in essential for anyone it will gradually increase the speed here and this is with wi-fi connection and uh, this is with mobile data as you can see lte and this is the safety and status here everything get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay everything will be working when this is read write speed test and this is wide one level one certification and also you can see the uh, device recognition as karna here and hdr support is there and 750 on a single score 1869 is the multi score and version 14 relax 4.14.336 puff kernel has been used 3,77,607 is the antidote benchmark result, 0.3 degrees Celsius is the temperature and 2% of battery has been dropped during this testing of antidote benchmark result in this particular ROM guys. These are the results what I got here and you also get some pre-installed apps here like gallery, I already shown this, you won't get any options in that, it's simple gallery application and this music application is pre-installed here, other than that everything remains in this audio effects you won't get any dolby atmos or anything like that or even audio settings are also simply missing here we'll go and show you here come back here yeah you guys can see here you get bunch of customizations 
regarding status bar, quick settings, lock screen, navigation, buttons, user interface and miscellaneous settings you get unlock high fps in google games and unlimited photo storage of google photos are available and swipe to screenshot has been added here regarding these uh, settings you can check out my previous video there i explained neatly according to that and everything is same nothing new here and you get app lock pre-installed and let's check out the locking i mean unlocking speeds here fingerprint unlock it's fast enough to unlock your smartphone using that now let me check the face yeah it is also very much fast as you can see recognizing face just get unlocked and we'll come back here again and display again you get simple settings here dark theme again you get pitch black pure black condition which is fine in my opinion night light feature again you can adjust the intensity colors live display everything kept to smooth display here tap to wake tap to sleep is there and sound and vibration as you can see there is no uh, miss settings here i mean direct sound settings are missing here hence you need to use that via app audio effects battery again battery usage is it recorded no and adaptive charging is there charging control is there battery optimizations battery stats has been given now and you can even add the battery widget from here guys as you can see uh, we'll go to settings again yeah we'll come back that's it these are the settings and everything is fine here as you can see the smoothness in the view is really really good what i already explained in previous versions check out that video for more customization where i explained uh completely regarding this particular rom you can use this audio effects to boost but they would have been added direct sound settings anyhow let's see bgm and gameplay how it handles in this particular rom Yeah, looking into game settings as you can see, you get smooth plus 90 FPS option here, that's fine. And this are the volume panel and volume you get and this is the quick settings, I will show you later also, as you can see. And app active status you can see here. But for some reason, it's not displaying the notification of echo battery, but is in... Yeah, that was fine, the gameplay is fine here. It is good, definitely playable. Okay, and real time FS count you can't see, just you need to uh, check how it, the gameplay is. Is it laggy or any status or not? And again, just playing with 4G, it may be difficult. With Wi Fi, it's better. Internet connection is very important. I haven't faced any lag as of now. Yeah, slightly I got lag now. yeah we'll come back here that was the gaming experience in this yeah you can't even come back here like this that's the big bug guys uh the gesture bar here is not working the pill whatever and these are the recent apps here the smoothness in the ui is really good even the quick settings toggles as you can see and in the edit section you also get these options cpu information and all as you can see that's fine but this gesture bar should have worked here but that is simply not working i don't know what's the problem here and again guys uh cr trad must release the g apps variant also uh, yes i understood some of them like vanilla build and they want to flash their own g apps here but i recommend to give both the builds let's user might decide that whether to flash vanilla plus g apps or direct g apps build that would be better then i can uh, check out how the actual ui is i have flashed the recent cdrad jfs whatever they recommended in their website itself but still this spill uh, length again i want to show that into gestures again navigation bar 
gesture yeah let's enable that yeah simply yeah now it will working after some time it will start working that's the one bug i have noticed here as you can see in the start of the video it's simply not going to work now it is working actually uh, that may be because of gfs what i flashed i don't know hence i recommend to uh, give both the options to the user let them choose whether to flash a vanilla plus g app separately or directly a g apps build that's my conclusion of this video if you want to use it as a deleter go ahead and flash it guys if you are in previous versions again check out if you are using gestures then it might be problem for you if everything is fine then you can do it out and flashing method what the firmware is everything will be given in the description and also if there is a dedicated whatsapp group available for poco x3 guys this device you can join there and ask your queries and even you can ask in the comment section and that's it guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now